Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, gonna be reviewing a project called Dynex. The ticker is DNX, and it's a play on these supercomputer AI and proof of work narrative. And there's also an element to this that I'm going to share at the end, along with my final thoughts that I thought was kind of a surprise, but depending on your temperament, you might not like it. Keep in mind, none of this is financial advice though, so always be sure to do your own research. Right now it's ranked 383 on CoinGecko with a market cap of 50 million. So it does have some upside. Looks like the circulating supply is 68 point, roughly 68 and a half million. However, this supply on CoinGecko is wrong. They did have a, they had like some, some illegitimate miners back in December, 2022. So they actually rolled back the Dynex chain to my understanding and they added an additional 10,000 coins to kind of make up for the miners that were doing things the right way to distribute to them. So really instead of 68% out there it's probably more like 60% of the, the supply is circulating but that's still not a bad number at least in my opinion. And on CoinGecko it really hasn't been around that long October 2022 so it looked like just two months later it had you know, that whole thing happened to where it had to hard fork and roll everything back. But it did make it all the way up to a dollar and 25 cents August 7th, which was like three weeks ago. From the main webpage here, in the small print actually, transforming dormant GPUs into neuromorphic machines, liberating supercomputing to beyond quantum capabilities. So the idea here, I believe, is that we all have these GPUs on our computers and we're not really putting most of them to work to their full capacity. But if you were to tap into one network and have them all running in parallel, then that, that power combined could be better than quantum capabilities, at least right now. Dynex Solve is a proprietary mining algorithm that addresses real life computational tasks by applying proof of useful work throughout the mining process. So Bitcoin, for example, it does proof of work and it tries to solve you know, that mathematical problem, but it's not solving anything else. And Dynex, with its algorithm, not only is it validating the, traction, the transactions, but it also, other people can come in and give it tasks to do, and the miners can solve those computational tasks and also earn a reward, a reward because there's a fee for that service. It says here, it is a flexible blockchain comprising of collaborating miners. This decentralized neuromorphic supercomputing network excels in executing calculations with unparalleled speed and efficiency, surpassing quantum computing limitations. Instead of brute force random hashes, Dynex Solve proof of useful work enables customers to access the combined computing power of thousands of GPUs through Python. It does say here Dynex chips running 224 million and 179,000 GPUs being utilized. So these aren't actually Dynex chips. What it is is software that is running on a computer that the GPU is running. Earlier I was mentioning that customers can have Dynex run computations for them and pay a fee for it. So this is essentially what that looks like. To run a compute job, computing tasks are published to Dynex platform conveniently through Python using the Dynex SDK. And this isn't out yet, but this is on the roadmap. So you define the computing task by and deposit DNX, which is fiat based, so it might be $100 to run a job actually probably costs a lot more than that, honestly, but let's say it's like $10,000 to run a job, whatever Dynex price is at that moment doesn't really matter. It'd be $10,000, not price in Dynex. Define block fee, solution, uh, reward, and run the computation. Then the Dynex Mylob activates. So miners aid in solving tasks by mining Dynex. Dynex Mylob, a system that organizes and prioritizes the jobs submitted by clients, begins operating. So it sets the number of chips to be utilized, does some parameter tuning, computational data exchange for tasks, and solution and computation verification. And then what's really important is everyone getting paid, right? So upon finalization of a computational task, Dynex Solve miners receive a significant amount of Dynex as a block reward. This isn't something that you or I would most likely use for computations, right? But some examples, RNA folding, all this I'm assuming is very, computationally intensive, breast cancer prediction, quantum Boltzmann machine on the Dynex, right? 
uh, and some other stuff that sounds really complicated. Placement of EV charging stations. They have a really awesome facts page. So I wanna share what I found most interesting from this page. Then we also got that, uh, that, that aspect of this that I'm gonna share at the end, as well as the roadmap, then I'll give you my final thoughts here. So, will ASICs and FPGAs take over the Dynex network in the future? So the Dynex algorithm is designed and tuned for GPUs, and it is the intention of Dynex team to keep it favorable for mining with GPUs. The likelihood of an ASIC manufacturer building a unit for Dynex Solve is very low due to the nature of the algo, as well as job type updates which GPUs can handle well, but an ASIC would essentially be bricked by. The cost and time it would take to develop an ASIC for Dynex Solve is also a factor that makes it practically unfeasible. So if you like proof of work coins, but you don't like these ASICs, this could definitely be a project worth considering. What are the mining rewards and what happens when all the Dynex are mined? Something we still don't know yet with Bitcoin. There are three rewards for miners as of now. You've got the block award, the block fee. This is not used yet, but will be used when the marketplace goes live and will be in addition to the block reward. When all coins are mined, the block fee will essentially be the replacement for the block reward. And the solution reward. This is a bonus bulk amount that some jobs have and some don't. It is paid out to the miner that finds a solution to a job and it's usually between 2,500 and 100,000 DNX. So a nice incentive for miners currently but it will probably be removed or be spread equally among all contributing miners when the marketplace has been deployed and stabilized. So this marketplace, this all still needs to be built out. So this is by far not a, uh, a finished project yet. The emissions were pretty aggressive, so they need to get on the ball with getting this marketplace out there and built so that they can get these fees coming in. We said we're at about 68 million. So we're at about right here. So there's really not much you know, this, this reward is going to really start tapering off and the miners are really going to want something if the price doesn't uh, continue upward. Did Dynex have a pre-mine? There was no pre-mine and no ICO. The entire project is self-funded by the Dynex team. And I can't remember if I had this highlighted to share, but the team, at least at this stage, is completely anonymous. So how can customers get computing power? It's gonna be the Dynex marketplace, which is the place where customers can place computational requests into the system and define what they're offering in terms of block fees as well as a solution fee. So it looks like you actually get to say, hey guys, I got this job, this is how much I can pay and the miners can say yes or no. DNX is the currency for purchasing computation time on the Dynex network. Pricing is determined on an auction basis. Higher fees lead to prioritization, sort of just like including transactions in normal blocks. This makes DNX a true utility coin and leads to a large number of continuous transactions in the network and also provides attractive fees to be earned by the miners. And just my opinion here as well, sounds like if it is that much of a utility coin, it should be largely safe from SEC scrutiny, but who really knows? And then we got this. If you're still confused, this looks actually like a really good summary. Dynex operates a decentralized supercomputing platform. It is utilizing combined computational power of all its miners to perform computing jobs. This is achieved with, with that proof of useful work mining algorithm Dynex Solve. The Dynex customers buy computational time. The DNX is therefore a true utility coin. And then I think the rest of it is sort of uh, self-explanatory there or just little like facts that we already went over. On the roadmap here, so they did have mainnet in September, 2022. So CoinGecko was just one month late on their chart there. They've got 300,000 plus wallets, which is good. They're on some centralized exchanges if you wanna buy it there. So Q4, 2023, this I suppose would be the main thing I would want to see and the amount of users that are gonna actually come and spend money for the computational power. So that is when the Dynex marketplace looks like it's on the roadmap. So Q4, 2023, they're also gonna have an initial enterprise sales team, Dynex Christmas surprise. That could be kind of fun to just keep an eye on. So I like to go and see who has the top wallets. Usually it's the exchanges or something like that, but you just wanna to try to get a gauge for how condensed it is. And when I went to the rich list, I was hit with this. Dynex, it is, uh, this is too small for me to really zoom in on, but Dynex, it's fundamentally private. It is based off the crypto note protocol, which Monero, I don't know if Monero still is, but Monero is a crypto note sort of privacy solution. And reading through this, Dynex is optionally transparent. So you have view keys, you can see stuff. 
it's not completely hidden, uh, but you'd have to reveal that if you wanted to. So I think that why we're hit with this is because you can't see any of this information. So to have a rich list doesn't even make sense. Now it's got an anonymous team and that could be a bad thing because if you don't know the wallet concentration because stuff is hidden, you could see that as more of a risk than something positive. This is one of the better ones that I think I've come across lately. I do like proof of work. I like that you can put that proof of work to an actual computational use case instead of just solving random hashes just to earn block rewards. I think that's pretty cool. It's a pretty niche thing too. So it's got it's got the supercomputing with the AI, but it's not trying to just be super incredibly vague. To me, I was able to hone in and actually visualize what would be done with some of this stuff, which is generally pretty helpful and usually is required for me to really decide if I'm gonna buy something or not. It has been around for a while, so I couldn't tell you with absolute certainty, obviously, but it doesn't look like it would be a rug pull. I don't think that they would have this much work going into it. Their community seems pretty responsive when you ask them questions, so some pretty good stuff, to be honest. Let me know what you think of Dynex down below in the comments, and if you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.